guys, and welcome back to our channel. We are back with another gemstone series for this year. Now we will be talking about underrated gemstones, which I'm so excited about because these gemstones, I feel like don't get enough credit or people just don't know about them at all, okay? So in this lineup, we will be talking first about garnets. If you think about red gemstones, people generally refer to them as rubies. What people don't know is that garnets are also a gemstone that are commonly found in red. In fact, the name garnet itself was derived from the old English word of red called garnet, and somehow the gemstone name evolved to garnet. Garnet is often um, associated with pomegranate, the fruit. So you have garnet, the gemstone, and you have pomegranate, the fruit. So what are the similarities? Number one, the color. So if you see the jewelry that I'm wearing today, the garnet gemstone is kind of this deep reddish color, similar to pomegranate seeds. Number two, the similarity is the size of the gemstone. Now garnets in nature are very, very small, like literally this small, okay? So you will not be able to find a really big rough garnet gemstone. It's kind of a mystery. Is the word garnet actually derived from the color red or is it derived from the name pomegranate? We don't know, but if you think of garnet, now you're going to start to think of the pomegranate. So if you are a January baby, if your birthday is in January, just know that your birthstone is garnet. The garnet gemstone does not only come in red, it also comes in a lot of other colors. One of them being orange, called the Spacertite garnet, and there's even a range for these orange colors. The garnet family is so big that there are probably more than 10 different colors of gemstone. Cannot name them all right now, but the common ones are red, orange, brown, and green. There's also some interesting ones which we will talk about like pinkish and purple. One of the fun facts that I learned about garnet to be able to differentiate a good quality and a lower quality garnet, in the industry we have this term called Fanta and Cola. If we are looking at orange garnets, Depending on the lightness or the darkness of the garnet, we either call it Fanta for very, very bright orange or for Cola, which is a desaturated orange, almost kind of brown. So that's a fun fact that you won't find in any books. So the hardness of garnet is a six and a half to seven and a half on the Mohs scale, which means that it is about three to four steps lower in hardness than the hardest stone, which is diamond. It means that it's a little bit more prone to scratching compared to the hardest gemstones, such as diamond. So the question is, can we still wear it on a daily basis? Yes, you can, but you just need to be a little bit more careful and mindful when you wear garnet jewelry. There are a lot of different species of garnets and a lot of different colors. So one of the most rare color of garnet is green. And it's pretty interesting because red and green are kind of like opposites, but they actually come under the same family. The green garnet is actually called Savorite and it comes from the Savo. Can I? <laughs> yes. It's in Savo, Kenya. What if I'm saying it wrong? What if it's like Savo? Savo. The green garnets called Savorites come from Savo in Kenya, which is on the border of Tanzania as well. So another kind of garnet that is quite rare is called the Malaya garnet, which is found in a similar geographic location as the Savorite garnet. The difference between the Savorite and the Malaya garnet is the Savorite is a bright green color and the Malaya garnets come in tones of peach and pink and purple. An interesting fact about garnet is that it can be confused with a ruby. So I'll tell you some facts about how you can separate a ruby and a garnet because the price difference is quite obvious if that was not an indicator enough. 
But one thing to note that in garnet gemstones, they do have this underlying brown tone, whereas rubies are quite vivid red gemstones. So I'm actually wearing a combination of ruby and garnet just for you to be able to see the difference. So for example, in this ring that I'm wearing, the center stone is a garnet, a red garnet, and the gemstones surrounding it are red rubies. So even though they are both red, they are a little bit different in the shade or the tint. So these are a few fun facts for you to know about the garnet gemstone from a gemologist's point of view. So if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. We would be happy to answer them. And if you want to have a look at our latest garnet range, please do head on to our nearest Habib showroom or head to HabibJewels.com. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.